What's up guys, in this video I'll be summarizing the various game plans you ought to be thinking of when doing your boss raids. The game plan depends mostly on where you're at in the game. It's different for new players, to people in the mid game, and lastly players in the late game. Keep in mind I'm talking about season 3 of raid right now. We're expecting season 4 of raid sometime this year hopefully, so bosses and strategies will surely change. For season 3, here is how I'm defining early, mid, and late game. If you do less than 30 billion damage per run, then you're in the early to mid game. If you can do over 30 billion damage per run, then you can consider yourself a late to end game player at that point. I'll explain the importance of this number in a bit. As for gear, it's going to be a very similar setup regardless of what level of player you're at. When you first start the game, your raid gear won't matter too much. Gear your characters however you want, though I'd recommend making sure your tank and healer are wearing your best gear. As you do more damage to the raid boss, they will gain special stats and buffs at certain thresholds. At 6 billion, the raid boss will gain crit rate, so from 6 billion onwards, you want all your characters to have 50% crit resistance in order to avoid any crits. The rest of your armor refinement lines will go towards an equal split of health and defense. Once you get closer to dealing 30 billion and over per run, then the gear set becomes slightly different in my opinion. At this point of the game, you're likely transcended your team and rebirthed them completely, so they should have a decent amount of health and defense. I find that during this point of the game, sacrificing a defense line or two for HP lines helped my character survive a little bit longer. This is okay to do since you've gained a good amount of defense through rebirths already. That is the only real change I would recommend and again, crit resistance should at least be 50% to avoid crits. Now that I've shown you guys a general rundown of your gear, let's talk about the game plan you should be thinking of. For new players starting in this third season of Raid, the goal is to strengthen your team to the point you can survive and reach 30 billion damage. For some, this may take many months to over a year to achieve. Since the boss doesn't have any special mechanics until 30 billion damage, then all you need to do is increase your team's survivability and damage output. You strengthen your characters by transcending and rebirthing them, and you strengthen your weapons and armor by reinforcing them. All all this will take time and resources so don't feel rushed or discouraged that you can't do this overnight. I'd start with focusing your reinforcements on your tanks and healers as they are the ones who keep your team alive. Once you reach 30 billion damage, then the whole strategy takes a decent turn. To reach the upper echelons of raid, you will not only need great survivability, but now there is an increased focus on burst damage, dealing as much damage as possible in a short time. I'll try my best to explain this strategy as simply as I can. At 30 billion damage, and every subsequent 5 billion damage, most raid bosses will perform an active skill that will typically wipe your entire team. There is a way to interrupt the boss, and that pretty much requires stunning them. For some bosses, you have to use a stun mage to stop them, or a Rosie to neutralize them. Other bosses may have an HP shield that requires big damaging skills to deplete. The last kind gives a shield to bosses that can be depleted by using quick moves, this acts like Mia's shield and the best way to deplete this shield is by using active skills that dish out multiple lines. Keep in mind when you incapacitate the boss, the boss will be stunned for an entire 10 seconds. Why is this important? With those 10 seconds, you can allow your Mia's active skill to cool down. Remember that Mia's skill provides blocks that last for 15 seconds or until it gets entirely depleted, whichever comes first. But majority of the time, it will protect you for the entire 15 seconds. So the goal is to reach 30 billion in every subsequent 5 billion threshold when Mia's blocks are depleted, which usually occurs right under 16 seconds left on her cooldown. By hitting those 5 billion increments, you will trigger the boss to prepare its active skill, which is a little over 2 seconds for most bosses, and can last 10 seconds for other bosses, such as Irie. I typically wait until the very last second before the boss is about to use their skill, and that's when I incapacitate the boss, stunning them for 10 seconds. This allows my Mia's cooldown to get down to 6 seconds or less. At that point, the boss breaks out of stun and begins attacking again. In many cases, I will try to survive these few extra seconds with the help of Ymir's shield, and with that, Mia can use her block again, and after casting her skill, you have about 15 seconds to get to the next 5 billion increment and repeat the process. There's definitely some more tips that I haven't covered, but that's the gist of late game raid for season 3. Hopefully that example explains why the late game is so focused on damage with regards to the strategy. Who knows what might be changed in season 4, but I at least wanted to give you the general overview of season 3 raid as I've come to understand it. I would have liked to cover every raid boss in detail, but then the video would be too long. So let me know if that's something you'd want to see by liking and commenting on the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Again, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you 
in the next one.